Previously on the Fentertainment channel, we took the motor out of our club car president. We sent it off to Plum Quick. They did the banded upgrade. We reinstalled it. The golf cart went from 12 miles per hour stock to 23 miles per hour. The very next video in the series, we added an all sport six inch lift kit to the golf cart. We added some Trex wheels, 14 inch with some 23 inch all terrains. That took our speed from 23 miles per hour to 27 miles per hour max all in the help from GolfCartTireSupply.com. After the lift and tires, we went ahead and added a Navitas TSX 3.0. It's a DC torque controller. It gave us more speed, actually three miles per hour faster. It gave us a lot more torque and it gave us security. You be sure to check this video out as well. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be installing a 48 to 12 volt DC converter. You can use this in 48 volt applications or 36 volt applications, and this will give you a 30 amp uh, output range off of this converter. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be basing this around this 2014 Club Car President. I also have a 1999 EasyGo that's been like my baby cart for a long time. It's got a new body, it's been stretched, uh, wheels, tires, all that. I have one of these on that cart as well. And as I would say, probably in the past eight or nine years, I've had this same kind of converter on multiple different golf carts. I've maybe had to replace one out of about eight or nine of them, so it's not bad. Another great thing about this is I'm buying this for a lot cheaper than some manufacturers are selling it. Uh, if you find this controller on some websites, what they'll do is they'll take their logo, place it right here, and brand this as their own brand and you're gonna have to pay extra money for that brand. Uh, I'm gonna place links in the description below where you can find these for cheap, and I'm gonna show you how to install it on this golf cart and uh, where I'm gonna put it and everything. So in order to install this party bar kit from Bazooka, I have a 36 inch and 24 inch. I would be doing a video on that very soon. Or this headlamp and tail light kit, we first have to install this DC converter. This right here takes everything from 48 volts to 12 volts and runs off the entire pack instead of just one or two batteries. Makes it much safer and much better for the golf cart in the long run. So you have about five wires on this harness and they're all different colors and they have all different functions. So let's go over that. The yellow wire is gonna hook directly to your battery's pack voltage. This is gonna be the input voltage for your DC converter. The black wire here is gonna be the main ground for the converter and the accessories. So we're gonna use this in two ways. We're gonna hook this to the accessories we're also gonna hook this to the main negative of the battery pack. This green wire here is gonna be the switched wire. What I mean by that is you're gonna hook this right here wire up to the switch on the golf cart, the main on and off switch that turns the golf cart on and off. This right here is gonna tell the converter to turn on and off just like an automobile. This red wire here is gonna be the main accessory wire. We're gonna use it right here to hook up all the accessories to 12 volts. If you're running a car stereo in your golf cart, you're gonna notice that a car stereo has two power wires. You have a red wire and a yellow wire normally. This is gonna be your remote wire. This is keeps memory into like a car stereo for your clock and your radio stations. So now we're underneath the front of the golf cart here and you can tell this is your shock. This is your upper control arm. This right here is your frame of the golf cart right here. This metal bar that runs there is your frame. And right here in the very front, right here, is a plate. Now the converter fits perfectly there, but we're not gonna be able to use ordinary screws to mount it. I'm also going to run the wires towards the passenger side. And I think that is a perfect spot to mount the converter on this golf cart. Now how I plan on mounting this is to use some 24 inch zip ties. So once we have the controller mounted here on the passenger side, there's access to the dash. We can run the wire straight up here. All the wires will be free and clear of any moving parts. Now to give you a better angle, I'm underneath the golf cart, underneath the front end. We're running a zip tie up. There's an opening in the back. 
we're grabbing it, pushing some through. There's an opening at the bottom. Now, these wire ties are heavy duty, 24 inch long wire ties. One is plenty, but I'm gonna do two for security. The controller is mounted, it's not moving. Now with the converter mounted here, we have an access panel right here in the dash. We can run our wires directly into there. It'll be nice and hidden. Now we're gonna be making all of our wire connections behind this dash piece here. We're gonna use a T30 for here and a here and a T15 for this top screw here. Once you have the three screws removed, you can now remove this dash cover from the piece here. Now as you can see, there is a white plug that is from the 48 to 12 volt converter. We've got matching wires for everything, yellow and black. Yellow is the power input, black is the ground. And there we go. We're just gonna attach these to the positive and negative of the battery. Now once we have the ring terminals on the wires itself, that way we can go ahead and route them through the bottom of the golf cart here. This is gonna go out the same hole that the plug is gonna come in from the converter. So once we've ran the power and ground wire from our DC converter here, I like to place those wires on top of the battery cables. I wanna make sure that the battery cables get as much amperage as possible, so I connect those to the battery first. Now since the wires already ran, I like to go ahead and pull the slack out. We can go ahead and cut these wires and give us enough room to mount to the harness. Now that we have our main yellow and our ground ran to the front of the golf cart, we're gonna take the yellow of the harness. We're gonna attach it to the yellow of the main power wire with butt connectors. Now since the ground wire is used for an input and an output, I've got some four-way connectors here. Place it into it. Crimp it down. Do the same thing with the harness cable. The reason we used a four-way crimp connector on the ground is to act as a distribution block. Now, since I'm not gonna be running any type of radios to keep any type of memory of a clock or a radio station, I'm gonna take this blue wire here and put a single buck connector on it and cap it off. Like so. Okay, so the golf cart is in the run position and I have the key turned to off, as you can see there. Take the negative lead of your battery, put it on your battery pack, put the positive lead on your wires. So with the golf cart turned off, my green wire has power, my blue wire doesn't. When we turn power on or the key switch to the on position, you should have power on both sides. We do on the green and we do on the blue. So on this club car president, we're gonna attach this green wire to the blue wire of the switch. Now how am I doing this is with a back tap. We put this tap on the wire that we want to tap onto, snap it to place like so. We take this green wire, run it into the back of it. Well, all the way into it, it's the back of the tap. Close the tap with a pair of pliers. Make sure this metal bar inside the tap goes all the way through. Then we can cover the tap, close it in place, and our green wire is installed. Now in order to run my accessories from my red wire, I've also went ahead and purchased a five gain fuse panel. Now what I have here is the power wire is jumped into each leg of the fuse panel itself. However, there is no fuses on this side, so once we apply power, these terminals will be dead until we apply a fuse to the inside of the fuse block. Now where I've decided to mount this is right here beside the key switch on the back side. There is a notch and it'll fit right in here. I'm gonna use some double-sided tape 
we'll run this power wire to this power wire here and connect it. And then every time we add a accessory to the golf cart, we come in here, we add a fuse, and we put the power wire here, and we connect the ground wire to the distribution block there. Once you have everything in place, you can now connect your power wire to the power wire of the uh, fuse panel. Like so. Next up, I would take some wire ties. If I was you, you don't have to. I just think it looks much cleaner and wire tie some of these wires together behind the dash. Now once everything is already installed, when you connect the power harness for the DC converter with the wire leads coming out of the DC converter, you're gonna see a small pop, that's normal. Plug it in together, and you can go ahead and wire tie all of this up and make it secure. Now when the golf cart is in the on position, none of these terminals will have power. Connect the ground to the ground block, connect the power to the power block. On this side, as you can see, we don't have any power, but if we touch it, to this side, we have 12 point so many volts. This is letting us know the converter is working. If we turn the key switch off, we have zero volts on from the converter. The only way you're gonna see voltage on this right here side of the key switch is if we add a fuse to the fuse holder. Now that we have the fuse in the fuse holder, not only do we have power in front of the fuse, we have power on the back side of the fuse as well. So none of these back here will have any power because there's no fuse, but since this one has a fuse, it has power. Once you have everything buttoned up, go ahead and back and install this panel. We'll only remove the panel to add fuses and accessories down the road. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. We are now completed and the DC converter is now installed. Next step, we just need to add some lights and some bazooka tubes, and I cannot wait for those videos to come up. So if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you are not subscribed to the Fentertainment channel, I ask that you do and hit the bell notification and share this video with a friend. And until next time, guys, I'm Ryan Fenners, and we'll see you later.